I think this is the first time since 1966 that a top tier team's been knocked out by a non-league team and the first time since the early 1900s that Aberdeen have lost to a non-league team. You're the man who's done it, masterminded it for Darvel. How does that feel? Remarkable. Listen, it's, listen, the credit needs to go to the players. Uh, a remarkable performance they put in. It's alright me having a game plan in my head and, and, and try to embed it in the group at training and stuff like that, but fundamentally they needed to go and deliver that and I thought they were exceptional to a man tonight. I think if you looked at the two teams, you wouldn't have been able to tell who was the Premiership team and who wasn't. The football that you played was just sensational. But that, that, that's the level we try and play every week and I, listen, I think that's where the players deserve a men's credit because we ask them to be brave, we ask them to stick to philosophy and, and the way we play every week and to do that against that level of opposition is remarkable. And obviously when I came in the summer for a game, the park looked amazing as it does tonight. Is that a big thing for you and the team is to play that sort of nice one touch, two touch football? I, I, it was interesting, some people would say to me this week that oh, the park being so good was maybe a bit of hindrance and I said, no listen, I want it to be good at yeah. least, I want it because it, it suits your style of play. Because we're going to do nothing else but try and dominate possession and I thought it's to be able to have done that. And do you have a message to the people of Darvel ahead of the next round game against Falkirk? What we, we, this needs to do is galvanise support. We, we need to try and grow the fan base because it will help us if we try and progress through the pyramid system. And tonight they can only help. Hopefully they come back out in the thousands again against Falkirk. Hopefully we can get into the, the quarterfinals. Could you just explain what that result means to you, the players, today? I, I think I mean, everybody's didn't dreamt about it all for the last couple of weeks, if we're honest. But you never fully expect it to happen. But Marge, I gave a wee speech at the start and riled all the balls up. So I think we will go to the end. And once we're in that park, I think still, from a player's perspective, I think there's only one winner than me. Yeah, you completely matched them. I thought. Yeah. You couldn't tell who the Premiership team was, honestly. No, the first half especially. I think the second half we kind of dropped off a wee bit, which uh, let them came forward. But the first half, I think we, we matched them all apart. We went forward and attacked. Yeah. But Mick always wants us to do so. And did you prepare differently for this game than you would for like a league game? Or no, not at all. We couldn't train actually because of the bad weather. So. Oh really? <laughs> so I've ice skating all week, but yeah. uh, we had a good session Saturday, um, and then we are in here today, so there was nothing changed, the same warm-up, same yeah. ever. So. Confident going into the next round against Falkirk? Definitely, Volker? I think you got to be now. Yeah. We've already beat a League One, so now we've beat a Premiership, I yeah. think. All the way to Hamden? All the way to Hamden, I think. Uh, Perfect, nice one man, good luck.